What's up, everybody? It's a boy named here. I'm going to be shrouded in darkness today. I'm going to drop my AirPod. It was going to drop on the floor, but luckily it dropped on my flannel. I'm just hanging out today. For breakfast, I had four packets of oatmeal and a banana. Uh, for lunch, I had... Um, for lunch I had, um, quinoa salad and a banana, um, and for, sorry, people are talking in the group chat. I gotta see what my friend's saying. Oh, okay. Um, for... Um, yeah, so for lunch I had quinoa salad and a banana, and for dinner, um, we had leftover chili. So, uh, I think you can kind of see the chili on the edges of my mouth. It's gross, I'm sorry guys. Um, but, um, yeah, so then I got home and with our leftover chili, we had chili dogs, and that was tasty. I'm just hanging out. Um, I hope everybody's having a really phenomenal day. Uh, so on my way to college, um, what is happening, right? Oh yeah, on my way to college today, um, I found out the math class was canceled. And typically the way it works is I have, uh, English class from 9 to 10.30, um, and then at 3 to 5.20 I have math class. Um, but math class was canceled, so theoretically I could just leave English, I, I could just leave school after, um, I, I could just leave school at 10.30, um, after that, but I decided to turn off my phone right after English class and just hunker down, and hunker down and watch a movie, <laughs> is what I did, which sounds like I'm just wasting my time and watching the movie, but luckily, um, a really nice thing about um, being able to write an essay on a movie you like is that you get to watch the movie over and over. So, it's the movie I've been writing an essay about, which is a movie called I'm Thinking of Ending Things on Netflix, and it's a movie I really like. Um, and, you know, the essay is going to be about whether or not it's a cultural object, and, you know, once I watched the movie, I worked with some titles, and the titles are kind of, today in English class, he said, um, having a good title is like half the work. Um, because once you have a title, you know, um, just throughout your uh, journeys in life, which is when you're thinking about your essay and what you're going to write, um, you have the context of the title sort of shaping how you're outlining the essay in your head. So once you've done that, it's going to be easier to write your essay. So if you do a good title first, um, you know, that'll sort of do the vibe, you know, you'll, you'll get, you, you know, if you do the title first, you'll get the vibe of the essay, and you'll be able to write it a little easier. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Hey guys. <laughs> um, and then, um, I wrote down some titles, then I finished up this, uh, business assignment that I've been thinking about. It's due in like 10 days, and it's freaking me out. So I did that, and, uh, um, Oh, I forgot to mention, right after my English class, I ran into my buddy, uh, one of my college buddies. Uh, turns out he's totally in charge of the computer science club at, um, school. Um, the computer science club is a new thing. I just recently started seeing posters around, and he's been placing the posters, turns out. So, I was talking to him. Um, he is running a modded Minecraft server, um, and that's really interesting because I, um, I haven't been super into the modding scene since fabric became the zeitgeist, um, well, became dominant in the zeitgeist, um, you know, I was always using Forge and working on Forge servers, and so, um, it was really interesting because he started a modded Minecraft server on fabric, and I didn't know how that worked, and honestly, I use fabric for a lot of client-side mods, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. I know fabric is a lot faster than Forge, but I don't know in what ways, and, uh, you know, we talked about that. It was really interesting. 
and it's cool to talk to someone who has such similar interests to you. Um, he's more on the development side and probably the more useful side of um, computer stuff uh, when I'm just into sort of um, Linux and like the theory sort of. Um, but he's, you know, he's working on games and stuff. He, he seems very productive. Um, but uh, it's, it's interesting to um, have someone with such similar interest to you to where you can like talk about stuff and have like a shared understanding of things. So then you can actually get to deeper conversations um, instead of just explaining to people what you're into, right? Which is typically the conversations I have about Linux. It's like, oh, we can talk about Linux and this like specific thing in Linux or like talk about like Minecraft servers, which I have very um, extensive knowledge of. Um, but I don't have a very extensive, no extensive knowledge of like fabric Minecraft servers because I've never ran one. Um, and um, sorry, my hand feels weird, guys. That's weird. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, um, you know. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And then I then I did my business assignment. So now we're back in the timeline. Um, and then once I was done with that, I got on the train, took the train downtown. My phone was still off. Then I took the bus, and then halfway from my bus route to the local strip mall where I got dropped off at from the bus, I turned on my phone to let my parents know that I'm I'm okay and that to not freak out because you can see my location for the past four hours. Um, But yeah, um, I came home, my parents want to see the movie I'm working on. I already watched them thinking of ending because of my mom and she didn't like it, but she seems to be, she seems to think that she liked the movie, so she wants to watch it with my dad. And I think both of them are going to fall asleep. But I think it will be good to wa have watched the movie three times on my end. So yeah, I hope everybody has a phenomenal day and yeah, see you.